The welfare and safety of the racehorse summits grew out of a meeting the directors of the Grayson Jockey Club Research Foundation organized in April of 2005. A group of stakeholders of various aspects of the industry were brought together to discuss priorities for research. Out of this grew the uh, opportunity for the Jockey Club to provide some information, a great deal of information in fact, on aspects that were being driven by anecdotal opinion rather than fact in many cases. From this came the belief that we could improve the effort not only identifying priorities but helping put into motion coordinated efforts to achieve desired results. The first summit held in autumn of 2006 identified a number of goals which appropriate working committees were put into place to work toward accomplishing. The overall effort was launched long before the Eight Bells incident or even before Barbaro's injury and the fact that the summit was in place I believe was helpful to the industry's response to the safety and medication situations which were underscored during the 2008 Triple Crown. The summit built upon research which had already been accomplished as well as creating support for new research. It was obvious that the Racing Medication and Testing Consortium was already out in front in the areas of medication and integrity, so the summit sought to support this rather than duplicate efforts. At the same time, the summit generated increased visibility about the scientifically proven documented risk factors of long toe grabs on front shoes of thoroughbred horses. Along with the effort to encourage banning of front toe grabs, the summit began providing education for owners and trainers on other aspects of shoeing the hoof care too. This is connected to the opinion that on the part of the summit that ongoing education should be a requirement for personnel licensed by state racing commissions in jobs that involve hands-on management of the horses. The summit also began delving into how racing records reflect the current levels of soundness and durability of the breed and whether improvement in those areas should be an industry goal. This took place at the beginning of the era of widespread racing on synthetic surfaces. The summit organized committee work and research to assist racetrack maintenance managers in keeping their track surfaces as safe as possible. The Shoeing and Hoof Care Committee evolved out of the Welfare and Safety Summit as an entity assigned to investigate the effects of toe grabs on the distal limb of the horse. The committee is composed of a number of highly qualified industry professionals including trainers, blacksmiths, university-based researchers, a shoeing magazine editor and veterinarians. In recognition of the foot as the foundation for soundness in the equine limb, the committee will continue its efforts to encourage further research and to provide educational materials to the different sectors of the industry. Some accomplishments to date include research using video from high-speed cameras of horses breezing on dirt, turf, and synthetic surfaces wearing different types of shoes, a model rule limiting the length of toe grabs and prohibiting traction devices on front horseshoes. Multiple presentations given at workshops and industry events on shoeing and hoof care by committee members and the distribution of educational materials. We are looking forward to the continued distribution of educational material to owners and trainers. Encouraging research studies on the use of hind shoes with grabs and other traction devices gaining information on current farrier licensing and working towards standardization. Research currently being conducted by Dr. Mick Peterson on the interaction of the hoof to the track on different surfaces.